Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is against my better judgment, honestly. I have played this game literally only three times, and um, I've died every single time. Like, I've never finished this game. I've only gotten three-eighths of the way through it. Welcome to Slender. I, I have no basis on backstory here. You're just some retarded kid who decided to jump into the uh, forest here with a flashlight. I know it's a little laggy, and I want you to bear with me for that. But um, my computer isn't the best. Now, it says collect all eight pages. So you get to walk around these woods alone with a flashlight that has a battery life, by the way, and look for eight pages. Now, while you're doing this, you're also being kind of dare I say, pursued. I'm not going to say by what. You will probably see him, or you won't. He'll just creep up behind me and kill me. Either way, you may or may not see him. Now, it does a kind of left for dead thing, and the pages are randomly generated, though there are only a certain number of places they can show up. Like this tree right here, usually always has one, so I'm just going to run over here and get this. And, um... Let's just say this game is actually pretty creepy. And is it like Silent Hill? Am I going to be afraid? Don't look or it takes you. Hmm. That's one I haven't read yet. Now, again, this is excessively creepy. There's no music. There's no weapons. No way to defend yourself. If he finds you and you're stupid, he will kill you. So, uh... Hopefully, I'm not stupid. Hopefully. Um, Amber's kind of on the bed. Hi. Don't know if you heard her, but she's there. Oh, they I don't know. I've had trouble having him here before. And you were right beside me back then, so. So, um, he makes no real sound unless he's actually chasing you. And I do not think he will chase you immediately. Like, you have to find him before he starts chasing you. And I'm going to be an idiot and walk off the path a little bit. Which I do not suggest, because he does hide behind these trees. It's bad. Now, you can also turn off your flashlight. This preserves its battery, of course. But it also stops him from immediately going after your ass. Which I appreciate. I think that was clever. And there appears to be something... I've never seen that place before. I know I haven't played the game a lot, but i certainly never seen this before. What the hell? I've only played the game three times, people. I'm going to be surprised as you are when I find shit. It looks like bathroom tiles. Why am I going in here? Shit just got real, people. Um, videos may be short. I'm only separating them by attempts, so if I die in here... It's going to be the end of the video. Oh god, really? There are tight corners in this place. Why? Is that a chair? Huh. Odds are he's in here, too. Who wants to bet money on it? Who wants to bet money on me torn turning a corner and him killing me? None of it's scripted either, like, he can randomly generate anywhere. And I'm going to die in here. Okay, with the light off, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can kind of see, and my odds of survival have just, like, tripled, because, yeah. My general strategy for when he shows up is duck and turn off the light, because rule of thumb, if he can't see you, I mean, if you can't see him, he can't see you, hopefully. Again, only played it three times. I do not have an actual strategy to this yet. I'm probably not even going to find my second page, because I just kind of turned myself around here. Hopefully the page, the page might actually be on the outside wall here. Um, thanks, Samantha. She's the one who wanted me to record this, just to See how sucky I am at this. 
Okay, so we're in a fenced-in area, and there's a weird-ass building in the woods. In the fenced-in area. That doesn't scream government complex, does it? I mean, it's virtually empty. That's the confusing part. Like, is it an interrogation thing, or...? I'm honestly nervous about going back in there. I do not like, like, tight corners, especially in this game, because he's really, really quiet. Like, you will not hear him, unless you piss him off, and then, yeah, you're going to hear him. I mean, just look how ambient this is. Like, you got nothing. Nothing to defend yourself with. No way to get away if he decides to chase you. I actually had him sprinting at me at one point. That was the last time I fled, though. Is there another one over there? What the hell is that? Some of the rendering is weird, so, like, sometimes something, like, blips in the background, I think it's him. That's the truck. Shit. Where am I? Uh, why? Right? As part of an ambience, there's a summer storm going on right now, and it's like 11 o'clock at night. So, it's like perfectly dark. I really should turn off my light for this. Just because I'm a glutton for punishment. There's another truck? What? Right? Now I have no idea where I am. I know it's a different truck, though, because I just saw the one I was interested in before. Where the hell is he? Was what? Paige! Oh my god, Paige! Can't run. I know, isn't it great? It's like it's encouraging you or something. Fuckers. Okay, a little bit of a funny thing. Wait. Shit. I saw that. If your screen starts to fizz, he sees you. I'm dead. And that's how that goes. Uh-huh. I pissed him off. So, uh, if you look right into his eyes, like apparently I just did, he'll find you and he'll get you. There wasn't anything I can do about that. So, uh, yeah, this is just going to be an ongoing series until I win. Um... Every attempt is going to be put into a video, and sudden such, you get the idea. Uh, next time, attempt number two. Stay tuned.